stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I am so excited. The holiday mini pre-order has arrived and let me tell you, I went all out because it's the holiday mini catalog and I was like, I just, you know, I might need this and I might need that and so I just, I, I really went all out. So I can't wait to um, unbox this with you. So I haven't seen anything yet. I've only seen what the catalog is online. Um, so I'm going to unbox this with you and show you everything. And of course, I'll try to keep my excitement um, somewhat in check, but I can't make any promises. So let's pop this open and pull out all of the fabulous bubble wrap and the packing slip. We will double check everything later on that. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a Baker's Twine Trio pack and you can see that it's got, it looks like, I think it's Cherry Cobbler, mm, Garden Green, and then Gold and it is absolutely stunning. Isn't that fabulous? Love, love, love that. There's a lot of like, um, ribbon trio packs, which I'm super excited about because I love ribbon. It's probably my number one embellishment and you know, I just, I can't get enough of it. And the fact that it's a multi-pack, well then I don't have to decide do I want this one or that one. I can just order it all. Um, here is some metallic thread and this is also a combo pack in both green and red. So super fabulous there, bright and shiny and of course super perfect for the holidays. Here's another ribbon pack. This is um, 3 eighths ribbon, and I want to say it's regular, like, grow grain ribbon. Let me just open it so there's less glare and everything. Um, it comes in three colors. I want to say it's mint macaron. I'm not really sure. I want to say, like, a yellow color and a purple. It doesn't look like elegant eggplant, but it might be perfect plump. So there's those. Um, once I find the designer series paper, then I'll be able to uh, let you know what color that is. This is Pine Bows Textured Embossing Folder. So that's what the folder looks like. So it's got that fabulous, um, like, tree, like Christmas tree looking thing. So you can always hang ornaments from it or, um, you know, decorate with lights or something like that. So a little embossing for a little texture. And then this is Festive Stitching. And I... I think this goes with festive stitching. I might just have to open this one. Festive stitching framelits. Oh, and then this one is, goes with festive season. So here's the stamp set. So it has a little bit of everything, some snowflakes, some stars, some um, trees, and then here is the framelit set. So you have your little coordinating items to go with that. And then there's this one, which I super, super love. This is Candy Cane Christmas. So it has that fabulous little um, candy cane and, can and like peppermints and stuff like that. And, um, and of course, it would look super fabulous with the metallic red thread. And then we have, so bear with me because since I'm opening this with you, I didn't like set it all out perfectly. Then we have this fabulous cookie cutter Christmas. So you can see the cookie cutter Christmas has the cute little gingerbread man, the Eskimo man, and even, oh, my fingers are over it. Look at him. He is the same as this, only upside down. So there is a coordinating punch. So the punch goes um, and it punches out all those items. There's also a or a or um, a Halloween fall one too um, that coordinates with this same punch too. But this is the one that comes as a bundle. Then we have Santa's sleigh. So I fell in love with this one. I just think that sleigh and that little uh, deer is super fabulous. And then it also comes with a framelit set and Hurry up and pop this open. So look at that. I love, love, love that sleigh and the deer. Oh, super, super love that. 
Then we have a project kit. This project kit is cards and it is super gorgeous. It's called Stitched with Cheer. So it has actual like stitching in it, but they give you the needle, they give you all the supplies. Everything is, <gasps> is in there, look. So there's like the um, the gold foil or the gold metallic thread, and then all the stitching and threading here. Let me just show you the front of it. Let's try to reduce some glare. There we go. And of course, I'll be doing a full reveal of this kit um, with all the supplies inside and everything in another video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Let's pull out. Here's another kit. This one I am in love with. Um, I'm hoping it's super easy because I feel like I want to make millions of them. This is the Forever Evergreen Project Kit. And it makes those amazing trees. Aren't those super fabulous? And I'm going to say they are about this tall-ish because that's how big the packaging is. Um, so I don't know how well you can see how tall that is. Um, maybe like a foot and a half something like that. Again, I'll be doing a full video on um, this project kit as well um, as like a little reveal and up close and personal so you can see all the details and everything. Then we have the um, Tin of Tags project kit and I just, I had to get this because of the tin. <laughs> the tin is just so adorable and I feel like it's like collect them all, like the tin of cards. I feel like, you know, last time it was a mint colored tin, this time it's a navy tin and now we have a red tin. Isn't that cute? Love it. And so in the tin is washi tape and baker's twine and embellishments and tassels, which P.S. tassels are coming out like big. Um, it's apparently a big thing now to have tassels on everything. So uh, stay tuned on that. I'll do another um, video on the full kit of that as well. Oh, here, let me show you. Besides just the tin, there's the entire um, like little flyer thing that has all of the instructions and information. Okay, let's do some paper. Oh, yum, yum, yummy. This is the Fancy Frost Specialty Paper, and of course, it fails to look good on camera. So, it's actually um, white on white, and it is embossed with like leaves so it's super textured and super fabulous and you're just gonna have to believe me that it's gorgeous because I don't know how to get it to show up on camera. Maybe you can see that I'm not sure. And yes they're all textured snowflakes, backgrounds, stripes, <gasps> Oh, they're just gorgeous. So these aren't um, like the other paper where it's uh, clear heat embossed. This is actually dry embossed, so it's raised images. And then we have some Halloween paper. This is the Halloween Night Specialty Designer Series paper. So, of course, it's like green, or not greens and blues. Pfft, who am I kidding? Oranges and blacks and pumpkins and polka dots and little bats which i'm not a huge halloween fan um so it's just oh and then there's some with foil like that one and pumpkins but then there's also a lot of great like non-halloween ones like the brick wall but then the back is super halloweeny so, um, you know, anytime you have any leftover pieces at the end of Halloween, then you can still use these for lots of other projects. Or, if you're like me and you don't like Halloween, then you can still buy this paper for the fabulous color combinations and use it for a different project. Or for Halloween treats, because I do like to spoil my trick-or-treaters, all like two of them, if I'm lucky. But I do get really excited. So, if you're local then you should come by and trick or treat because I give you lots of goodies. This one is copper foil sheets and of course they're hidden in between two pieces of cardboard so I actually have to open this one too because don't we all want to see the copper foil? Ah. Oh, hold on. Ah. Super 
super, super fabulous. Loving the bling, and I'm actually really falling in love with copper ever since it came out in the new catalog. So, um, are you guys all falling in love with it too? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like copper, gold, or silver? I was totally a silver girl, and I still prefer silver, like jewelry and stuff. But um, with my cards, I've actually moved a lot into gold, and then now I've moved into copper. So, oh, I can't open this one. Okay, got it. This is Presents and Pine Combs designer series paper so this is like Christmassy so there's like the greens and like a deep yellow and cherry cobbler ooh the bows are cute and then this is like pine cones bells more like randomness and then some solid patterns Whoop. And then some holly berries, which are super cute. The holly berries, I don't know if you saw those or if I flipped through them too fast. Um, so there's that one. Then we have Paisley, no. Starlight, no. Christmas stockings, check out this stamp set. Isn't that super cute? And it's got like the stitching and it's got like um, the stitching for like the toes and everything. And of course, there's a coordinating framelit set. So have no fear, um, no fussy cutting necessary. So there's the framelit set here. Let me pop this open. Ooh, and it's super detailed. Check those out. Look at like the detailing in this one and in this one. Love, love, love it. And then, of course, all the little accent pieces and some bows and ribbons and everything else. So, like I said, no fussy cutting, just lots of stamping fun. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? Here's some more ribbon. Oh, my gosh, I fell in love with this. I was like, order, 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 as soon as I saw this in the catalog. This is glitter ribbon, and it's in both silver and uh, a light pink. I'm not really sure what color it is, but it's so fabulous, and I absolutely love it. So I will be using lots of that. I loved the pool party glitter ribbon that we had in um, one of the past mini catalogs. And then, let's see, we have... I just might have to show you these, and we can pair them up later, because I don't think I'm going to be the best at guessing which one's which. Pretty Pines and Christmas Pines. Maybe those go together. So there's a stamp set with the little pine cones and everything. And then like the little greenery pieces. So those are super fun. So you can build with those. But then there's also lots of great greetings in there. And I super love this. Isn't that awesome? And then there's also Merriest Wishes. So this has great um, background pieces and like tags and like little circles and stuff that you can use with coordinating um, circle framelits or even circle punches. Uh, so that all depends on which one you prefer to use. Then we have, um, this is Prettiest Pines Framelits. And there's those. So you have all those twigs. Um, to use to make your um, pine branches and then of course there's the little pine cone and everything there with the detailed ones and then the outer ones so those are super fun I can't wait to start playing with those my mom always prefers like pine coney nature type uh, Christmas cards so I can see that one being her favorite although last year she totally surprised me and went with something completely different so just mark my word I said that I'm pretty sure she's gonna like that one we'll see if she surprises me later this is Mary Tags Framelits, and oh, yes, yes, love, love, love these. So look at these tags. So it has this gorgeous little um, tree on there, and the details of, like, this one has um, two little tree, like pine trees, and then the deer, and then these are just various sizes so that you can layer and then this one here has all that little like lace detail. Like how amazing are those? They would be perfect for both tags and for um, ornaments. So you could use it on that embossing folder that has the, the branches. And so you could always hang those off of there with some of the red or green metallic thread. Ah, love it. This one is called Stitched with Cheer. 
So it kind of has that like um, rustic stitching look, like it's um, stitched, it's knitted, crocheted, I'm not sure which one of those it is. Cross stitch? Cross stitch, I think, is which one it is. Um, but lots of great little images. And again, I love the stamp sets that have an awesome image with um, with also an awesome greeting. Then you don't have to worry about buying a greeting stamp set and another stamp set. You have those fabulous greetings that you can use with the images inside, or you can always separate them and do it different. So super love that. Here is a fall stamp set, but could also be used for lots of other seasons, but it's lots of trees. So they're fairly small trees. They're not, you know, like large full-size card looking trees, but you can do lots with them um, to create, uh, you know, like little wooded area or, um, you know, just a few or make it even look like a leaf. And there's also that palm tree in there. So that's why it's not just for fall. Um, palm, well, I guess in Florida or in hot areas, um, fall probably does have palm trees, but not here in the Midwest in Illinois. This one is Paisleys and Posies, and it's those fabulous Paisley images that you can build to create beautiful backgrounds. I can't wait to create with this one. I think it'll be super fun. You could go for like a, a rustic cowboy look, or you could go for a cutesy girly look, or you could go with so many different techniques and everything with, um, you know, creating almost like your own background designer series paper with that. Ooh, a one sheet wonder with that. <gasps> I'm super excited. Okay, stay tuned. There's also a coordinating framelits with that. Yep, the Paisley's framelits. That one, I do know. So you can then um, stamp a few of them, die cut them, pop them out, and make them, you know, stand forward a little bit for a little extra texture and oomph to your card. So there's all the little Paisley pieces. Super fun, super fabulous. Then this is tin of tags. So this goes with that little red tin. And so it's got some great greetings on it. But then it also has um, the fun little swag. So you could do swags on the sides of your card um, or on your tag. And then lots of great little greeting options that you could use during the holiday season. But also, um, you know, all throughout the season with the word surprise or all wrapped up or with love and different things like that. And of course the to and from and special delivery are perfect for um, other times of the year besides the holiday time. Starlight Thinlets. Okay, I think I know which one this one goes with. It goes with the Star of Light, I think. So it's these fabulous stars. So it's not like your regular um, pointed star. It kind of has like that long, that long dip that goes down there. And the coordinating stamp set. So with the stamp set, again, you have those amazing greetings that go with it, as well as, um, you know, some awesome decorations. And I super can't wait to use this little swirly, twirly little piece there. I think it'll be super fabulous. And add a little bit of glitter to it. Huh. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And then I also have um, Forever Evergreen. Um, might have gone with one of the other framelit sets, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's this one here. So super great little images to build together. And of course it is photopolymer, so it's super easy to build those. And I love the little um, Christmas lights. Of course you could always just add like a little bit of the dazzling details to each of the Christmas lights to make it bling. But you could also color them in. How many of you guys had colored lights either now or when you were a kid, which is me, um, loved them, love, love, love them. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you had colored lights anytime throughout your life. Let's see, oh, we have washi tape. So we have candy cane washi tape. So it's all of your um, red and white. And there's only, out of the five rolls there, there's only two that are like pretty holiday-ish. Um, so, you know, you can always use those during the holidays, make sure you use them up, and then you could use the other three any time of the year because they're just red and white stripes or dots or stars, which would be good for 4th of July. Then this one, um, is like hollies, stripes, bows, and again, the hollies are pretty holiday-ish, but the rest of them could really be used for any sort of holiday, so you can save some of those for, um, the rest of the year, too. Then this one has like the evergreen trees, but evergreen trees don't necessarily mean just Christmas time. And then there's the plaids and the, the little, 
I don't know, V-shaped things that look like that. Um, and stripes and stuff. So lots of uh, rustic colors with that. Here is some silky taffeta ribbon in both red and green. Ooh, it does look silky. That's super fun. Can't wait to play with that. I always like a, a softer ribbon because then it um, it's more pliable whenever you're tying a bow and it's usually not as lumpy whenever you make a knot on your card. Ooh, okay, so whenever I saw this in the catalog, then it said that it was shiny and metallic, but I didn't believe them because I couldn't really tell, but you can tell there. So the one is just red, and then the other one is white with like a red, like, silver foil that goes through it. So I hope you can see the bling of that on camera because it is gorgeous. Okay, and then I have some fabulous catalogs to send out to my amazing customers. And then this is Forever, Ever, Forever Evergreen Cardstock Die Cuts. So I think this goes with one of the kits. So it's just oodles and oodles of sheets of, um, oh, it's the trees. Okay, so this is how tall it is, how tall the trees are. Okay, you can't see both my fingers. But I would say it's like, yeah, like in a foot and a half-ish um, tall. So these are all the tree pieces, the evergreen pieces. You can see that they're already die cut and everything, um, which is awesome because then you don't have to sit there and like crank it through the big shop 500 times, especially since I feel like I'm going to be making lots of trees. I want like a whole forest. I don't know where they're going to go, but I'll figure that out later. And then this is the Petals and Paisley Specialty, which that always means that there's something fabulous. Um, designer series paper. So specialty usually means that there's two sheets that um, have foil or something special on them and that's these so it looks like a cream with copper dots and then this one is like navy with that paisley copper fabulousness oh I love that I'm gonna need like more than one sheet of that and then the rest of them are here and this one I think goes with that washi tape that I had in the very beginning. So it looks like Rich Razzleberry is the color, but that I totally went blank on. Cajun Craze, Delightful Dijon, Mint Macaron, Rich Razzleberry, Night of Navy, Soft Suede, and Very Vanilla. So um, it was that ribbon pack in the very beginning. But there's lots of them. And then here's a few more of them. So super, super fun there. And it looks like the rest in here is catalogs. So that is my complete haul. Um, there was tons and tons and tons of goodies. I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too because I love it whenever I get some feedback from you guys on what you like to see. So if you can remember, let me know what your favorite project is or product and what you might want to see me create with it in the comments below. Love to hear from you. And of course, stay tuned as I'll be posting more videos and lots of tutorials on projects that I make with these products throughout the next upcoming months. So check out my blog, laurastamppad.com for some uh, different pictures and projects and things like that. And then of course, I'll be posting here every Tuesday and Thursday. So you can check those out and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.